Hi, this is Jim Starkweather and doing another video uh, review, this time um, of a similar product to last time, the Russian Dwelling Number no. 2, which is a custom dioramics uh, kit, uh, CD8031 is the stock number. Again, this is patterned by Carlos Elias, and this one on the box art is painted by Bob Letterman. Um, the building is a different style, obviously, than the, the other one that we did. Um, this is more kind of um, probably commercial building, but also slash multifunction maybe. Um, it certainly does nothing about it that screams any one particular use. Um, for someone who might know European architecture, maybe they can uh, give us some pointers in the, the uh, comments field and what they think it might be. But again, the detail um, overall really good. Uh, some nice uh, surface texture. Um, nice wood grain up here, some nice little detail with the, the bricks. Uh, all the building pieces, exterior pieces, uh, of course, uh, again, the, the um, have the, the glazed backside. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the process, obviously, but it, it's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. And uh, I certainly think that um, it does limit or cause um, more work down the road if you want to expose any of the building interior or... Um, uh, do anything where maybe the building is uh, destroyed or something, but um, understandably that's the way it's the way they're made and the way they've always been done. So unless somebody comes up with a new fancy way to to get around this issue, then uh, then that's what the way it'll be. The um, building pieces are similar. Some of them uh, has some exposed bricks, so obviously the building is plaster. There's another piece here that has uh, kind of a cross hatch effect, which is kind of nice. You could do some nice paintwork detail in there to kind of expose the wood uh, and the cross hatch. Um, and then there's a nice uh, brick detail around the bottom. Uh, this is the front actual front section that you see in the picture. Um, again, some nice uh, exposed brick area, a little removed plaster area over here. Again, nice detail of the woodwork. Um, the uh, kit's about 15 pieces. Um, in terms of fit, uh, typical um, of you know most of the resin buildings like this. Obviously, some sanding, some excess uh, pieces, uh, a little bit of filler here and there, and, and potentially some kind of custom work to get everything to uh, to go together uh, perfectly. The um, the door section, for instance, this do this door section I was just holding is a solid door. The thickness is uh, pretty thick, so you could potentially cut it out, but it would be a challenge. The other door section is actually a um, two-piece, and again, you could probably uh, do a hinge door or something like that if you so desired. There's uh, some small resin pieces. I believe they're part of the wood or roof uh, section for filler, um, and there are also some door handles, very small little resin pieces. Um, this is where I would argue that uh, potentially um, Again, it would be nice to start to see maybe some some brass PE with these kits, um, and I guess maybe being that I was modeling 10 or 15 years ago, and you saw that with um, some other kits at the time that were starting to come out with PE, that was really what PE originally was, was uh, yeah, hinges and um, little metal door pieces and things like that. So. Um, if I if I take away anything with kits like this, it's it's usually because I think they could go a little bit further with that type of accessory shutters, for instance, uh, any kind of window uh, pieces that don't have to be scratched. Um, the last thing I would say about this kit um, here's the roof material. The roof material I'm not sure whether it's slate. Uh, in the picture, it does look dark, like potentially slate or maybe tin or something. It's very flat and no no real surface uh, texture to it at all and it's it's very even uh, so I, if it, I doubt it would be slate, it probably would be some type of um, um, metal or other uh, obviously very heterogeneous kind of size material. Um, the only thing I would other say about this kit uh, versus uh, well the only other thing I would say is that I had a, a, a really tough time test fitting this together because um, there are no instructions and from the front picture, 
it's very difficult uh, to tell, you know, what the other walls around it are. So it took me about 10 minutes to really figure out um, this is where all the pieces went, and I was able to do that using the roof sections. For anybody who wants to know, obviously, um, these are dead giveaway what they are. The rear side over here, you can kind of see, but the, this is the section with the two windows. Uh, there's a door around the back side, so the building actually is a little longer on the back side. A door, a door section sticks out with a little overhang, and that's where the solid door piece goes. The door with the, uh, the second piece door, two piece door, is this side wall over here on the opposite side of this wall, and then um, this wall is solid over here. So once you kind of get that down, it's um, fairly easy to you know see how it all goes together. But uh, it would it did take me a few minutes to get that down. Uh, looking at the picture. Um, it looks like Bob has painted the roof materials uh, with a little bit of uh, color variation, almost like um, slightly metal, a metal um, changes in hue and stuff uh, for metal. Uh, I see kind of a greenish tone, so maybe it's a t it could be a copper roof. Uh, I'm thinking copper, so that's probably what the roof material is. And um, other than that, um, you know, good, a good. Um, a good effort by VLS, and I would say that you know if you want a, a good Russian building, that's um, I don't know if this building again was taken from source material like the other building was. I'll, I'll try to look that up for the written part of the review to add that. But um, again, some uh, very nice uh, work here by Carlos Elias and Bob Letterman. So let's hope that um, under new management, uh, which VLS is now part of uh, or owned by Squadron, um, let's hope that. Uh, that they do a good job and continue to put out uh, good kits. All right, that ends this review. Thanks very much for checking in.